A Raleigh family says Delta Airlines mistakenly took their son's body to the wrong state where it remained stranded for two days leading up to his funeral. CBS North Carolina's A.J. Janival has been speaking to the family tonight about dealing with this issue while also coping with the tragedy of their son dying. Yeah, Justin, 31-year-old Bryant Radburn battled leukemia for four years. He left his home in Nashville to come live with his parents here in Raleigh. This past Tuesday, he died. His family wanted to bury him in his home of Tennessee, but they spent the last two days just fighting to get his body back. Bryant Radburn moved to Raleigh with his parents. He was getting treatment at Duke University Medical Center, but on Tuesday, after years of fighting, he passed away from leukemia. We were there with him, and I performed CPR on him until the EMS got there. But he ended up passing away. After that, he was, he was gone. Brian's stepfather, David Rhodes, says losing a child is a different kind of hurt. After he died, Rhodes and Brian's mom, Denise, decided to bury him in Nashville. But they say due to issues with Delta, it nearly didn't happen. Brian's in Salt Lake City in a cargo hold, and we don't know how to get him to Nashville. Brian's body was misrouted for two days, the family says. And for those two days, not only were they left with the grief of burying their son, but also fighting to get his body back. They say they were unsure they would even get the chance to bury him. It's a very, very difficult thing. Rhodes went to the airport and was able to find a flight that brought Brian's body back to Nashville Sunday, just in time for the funeral on Monday, and one final goodbye. The family has hundreds, they say, coming to the funeral on Monday. 